Hello class. I wanted to create a video that would help with problems 3 and 12 in the 2-2 my, uh, my math lab uh, problem set. Uh, basically I want to help you calculate a relative frequency and then uh, use stat crunch to graph a uh, I guess uh, some type of histogram. So let's start. Uh, looks like we have um, speeding tickets and we want to see how many males uh, in different age groups uh, receive speeding tickets and then we look at the number of females in thousands that receive speeding tickets for different age groups and we're asked to construct a relative frequency distribution uh, for the males. So the relative frequency would be uh, for each group, uh, age group uh, we would total the number of tickets total for males and then divide each age group uh, by the total. Okay, so let's do this in Stat Crunch. A quick way to do this, I'm going to open in Stat Crunch, and here's my data. Now, we have a pretty cool feature here. If I press data, uh, I want to compute an expression. So I'm going to build my own expression. So the first thing we have the males. I want to divide the males for each group, uh, age group by the total number of males. So I'm going to select males. Oops, that's females. Let's see if I can back out of that. I click males, and I want to divide this by the sum of all males. Uh, so there's a sum function down here. Let's see, QRS sum. There we go. So I double click sum, and I want the sum of males. Okay. And then I press OK, and I press Compute. And you'll notice here, uh, it provides the relative frequency. So I can actually just type these values in here. And I'm going to do that in a moment. So uh, what I'll do is I will, ah, I'm hitting all types of buttons here. Um, I will uh, type this one by one. So I'm going to pause the video first. Okay, and notice you do have to round to three decimal places. Uh, so let's check our answer, and we get the excellent. Now we have to do the same for the females. So let's see if I can pull that up. Uh, so the females were in this column. So if I press data and compute expression, I'm going to build it. We're going to do the females. Oops, I think I pressed that too many times. Let me just clear that out. And I click females, and we're going to divide that by the sum of all females. So sum is down here, and then inside the parentheses, I want to press females again. I press OK, compute, and this is my relative frequencies for the females. So I'm going to uh, cut and paste these values into here, rounding to three decimal places. So I've moved the data over into the relative frequency. And by the way, remember, if we add these up, um, I believe we should get one. Uh, let's see, press check answer. And it says fantastic. Okay. Next, uh, it says construct the um, relative frequency bar graph. So again, we can use StatCrunch to do that for us. Uh, if I go into... Uh, let's see here, graph, we could do a bar plot with summary, and I, my categories are going to be the age groups, and the counts would be males, and we want frequency, uh, maybe, oh, see where it says order by? I want to do it by the worksheet, so I want it to go in this order. I press compute, and there is a bar graph. Now this is just frequencies. If I wanted to change this to relative frequency, I can click um, type of free, uh, table, relative frequency within category, and I can put the value above the bar and press compute. And you'll notice that these are my uh, male frequencies. And I can do one for females with summary. Uh, again, my age group, that was the category. The counts would be in females. I'd like the relative frequency within the category. And I want to display the value above the chart. 
and I'll press compute and there we go and, and notice this was the um, relative frequency for my females uh, it does change the decimal to, into a percent right 0.296 is 29.6 percent right uh, 0.229 is 22.9 percent and so on. so I hope this helps uh, I believe you can go through the same uh, process for question number 12 as well thank you for watching